Hi there, Chris Morris here taking you through a really useful Google Drive extension called Stay Focused. This tool is incredibly useful for students but also some staff in relation to the use of uh, the internet, online tools and the ability to concentrate for a set amount of time. You'll be well aware that um, with the hyper-connectiveness of the internet that you could be clicking on multiple hyperlinks and it takes you off in all dif different directions and when you consider the amount of time that you've spent on these particular sites you look at your watch and you may have wasted one, two, three or up to five hours. I think one of the greatest challenges with our young people is that they are spending a great deal amount of time on sites like Facebook, uh, Ask FM, etc. So this tool is, um, I suppose, a, a way for them to acknowledge that, yeah, there is a time and a place for social networking. When they're using their technology for their learning, there is also a time to focus on that. And so it's, it's asking them to self-regulate their behavior online. So this tool, Stay Focused, is available through the Chrome Web Store. I click on the store here and I put in this search criteria stay F O C U S D and hit enter. So because this uh, this is an extension, uh, it is available down the bottom here. If you want to click on extensions, it will obviously come to the top. So stay focused, uh, spelled S T A Y F O C U S D from Transfusion Media. I'm going to add that to my Chrome web browser as an extension and with any extension you will see that pop up next to the omnibar at the top of your Chrome web browser. I'm going to click on that now and you'll see it has the option to set different sites here that you can put a time limit on. So I'm going to go into advanced options here and because I am now uh, on a particular page, so I could choose to block google.com for a period of 10 minutes, etc. Um, or you can block or allow multiple sites at once. So you can go into this uh, interactive page whereby you could specify a particular time with which to block these sites. So if you, I, for instance, look at Facebook, when you're entering it, leave off the www. Okay, so it's just facebook.com. I might want to put askfm.com. Uh, you can put a whole lot of others. So if I now add those block sites, what I can then do is uh, go to my daily reset time. So set the time in which it will uh, regulate that um, the amount of time that I'm on those sites or if I go to maximum time allowed how long will it allow me to be on those block sites for? So I'm going to set just for the demonstration purposes uh, a one minute time limit on those two sites so if I hit set you're giving yourself less time slow cut well played my friend so it's given me some encouragement as the fact that I am self-regulating my online behavior so I choose OK and I'm just going to close this down now. So obviously students could uh, remove this from Chrome, but again it's encouraging them to self-regulate their online behavior. So I'm going, now going to navigate to facebook.com and you'll see the little button go red. So it's indicated that this is one of my sites that um, I need to spend a minimum amount of time on so normally you would say maybe 10 minutes or 15 minutes at the max per day would be uh, advisable for something like Facebook and you can see that there's a little countdown happening up there okay so you can see little pop-ups uh, come up down here that it's going to disallow access to this in 10 seconds and you can see there's the countdown and so it pops up a background shouldn't you be working if I then try and re-navigate to Facebook, it set my daily limit and won't allow me access to that page. So stay focused, an incredibly useful uh, self-regulation tool that uh, I would be encouraging students to use.